In this video, we're going to be comparing the Logitech K380S Pebble 2 Keys versus the Apple Magic Keyboard. The Logitech Pebble Keys 2 costs about $30 and the Apple Magic Keyboard is $100. So in this video, we're gonna break down all the features that make the Logitech a much better buy than the Magic Keyboard. But we're also gonna talk about the reasons you might wanna buy the Magic Keyboard. Both of these keyboards use Bluetooth and can be paired very easily. The Apple Magic Keyboard you pair to a computer using the included lightning cable just by plugging it into your computer. But the Logitech Pebble Keys, all you have to do is press and hold one of the device pairing buttons and then the lights will start to flash to show you it's in Bluetooth pairing mode. What's cool about the Easy Switch technology and Logitech keyboards is all you have to do to change what device it's paired to is press and hold one of those keys for just a second, and you can cycle between up to three saved Bluetooth connections. So the Pebble 2 keys is a lot better if you want to use it with multiple devices. Additionally, the Pebble keys also has both Windows and Mac optimized keys, so if you're going back and forth between PC and Apple devices, then you're not gonna have any issues with the keys being labeled wrong or not working as they're supposed to. The keys are quite a bit different on these. The Pebble 2 has circular keys and the Magic Keyboard has square keys. You also get full-size function keys on the Apple Magic Keyboard and you get half-size keys on the Pebble keys. Now, what's really cool about the Pebble keys is you can actually get in and download the Logi Options Plus app and you can reprogram what all the different function buttons do except for F1, F2, and F3. This allows you to create different shortcuts and different quick optimizations depending on what apps you're using on your computer. The Pebble Keys uses two AAA batteries and the Magic Keyboard uses lightning to recharge it. And on the Pebble Keys, you're gonna get a battery life of about three years. And on the Apple Keyboard, you get a battery life of about a month, but you can recharge it with lightning. This is a little bit of a con though, because lightning devices are becoming less common. Everything's switching over to USB-C. So I really wish Apple would update this keyboard with USB-C. Now, one cool thing about the Magic Keyboard is you can spend a little bit more money and you can get one that has the Touch ID button built in as well. So that's really cool because you can make purchases and unlock your computer using your fingerprint if you buy that keyboard, but it does come at a much steeper price than the standard Magic Keyboard or over the Pebble Keys. In terms of typing, both of them are great keyboards, but I personally find the Apple Magic Keyboard to be a little bit more comfortable to type on, but I do like the angle of the Pebble Keys a little bit better. The Magic Keyboard just has a slightly more tactile feel to me, and the Pebble Key makes a little bit more noise, but the volume is honestly pretty close between the two of them. Another thing you'll notice, the Magic Keyboard is a little bit slimmer for travel, but not by much. The Pebble Keys is just slightly thicker than the Magic Keyboard. The Magic Keyboard only comes in white, while the Pebble Keys, you can buy it in black, white, graphite, or rose, so you get more color options as well. Now, one other thing I do really like about the Magic Keyboard, depending on the model you get, it can match your Mac layout perfectly, which is really nice because then if you're going back and forth between using your laptop in desktop mode and laptop mode, you don't have to wonder where the keys are. So this can make the typing experience just a little bit more seamless by using the Mac keyboard. So if you're gonna buy the Pebble keys, you're gonna be out about $30. If you buy a Magic Keyboard, you're gonna be spending $100 for the standard version or $150 if you buy the version with Touch ID. So the Pebble Keys does save you quite a bit of money. Now I will add, if you're the kind of person that's like me and you use a keyboard all day long, I would recommend spending the extra money to buy the Logitech MX Keys Mini because it gives you all the same features that the Pebble Keys has, but a better ergonomic feel and backlighting. So if you're interested in more information about that keyboard, I am gonna link to some of my other video reviews where we talk about the MX Keys Mini. My recommendation is honestly for most people, buy the Pebble Keys because it's gonna be a better option for using it with multiple devices. It's way cheaper and it offers just about the same typing feel and experience. The biggest difference is gonna be that it doesn't feel quite the same as using your laptop keyboard and the function key is move versus what the standard Apple layout is. But overall, you're gonna be able to have a lot of customization with the Logitech keyboard using the Logi Options Plus app. You can make all the buttons do whatever you want, and you can even switch between using it with your iPad, your iPhone, and your Mac, all without having to pull out a lightning cable. So I really appreciate the versatility that you get in the Pebble Keys. If you're interested in either of these keyboards, I do have links in the description below. If you have any other questions or you think I'm wrong, leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to answer them. Hope you have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.